Ah. Oh, oh my God. It's tough times, fellas, and sometimes you really do. You just gotta put your vice on a rubber plate and use it as an anvil. You really do be how it do sometimes. All right, I got some camping gas here to soften up the metal a little bit, heat it up. This first arrowhead we're going for is a bit of a bladed kind of thing, so I got this 12-inch spike. Gonna flatten it out a little bit and then cut it off and sharpen the edges of it. Pretty simple. about an inch and a half of this half inch diameter, three eighth inch inner diameter steel pipe. And it's actually the perfect inner diameter to fit the spike inside of. like a real thing. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So here's this one. Obviously, since it's both sides of a pipe smashed together, I can't really put a bevel on it because the center of the bevel would be a gap. But for like target practice, especially on something soft like a hay bale, I think this would be pretty epic. You could crank out like a million of these things in a, a couple hours if you wanted to. But I'm gonna do one that is very similar, but that you will be able to put an edge on. Okay, a few fails later, and I am just about there, I think. What you can see here is that the blade is made out of only one half of the pipe. It actually sharpens up pretty good. So here's how we do it.
Nice, just about the same. I'll count these as two different arrowheads. I think we got a contender here. Not gonna lie, I think these two are the most promising ones. These are the two that I'm definitely most excited about. But as you can see, I put this steel collar on here just for weight and then the uh, 20D nail. Very simple, let's do it. Did you see that? I got that pretty centered, huh? Oh, baby, look at that. some folds here, which should put a pretty dang good stabilizing spin on these things. And a little finishing touch. And coat the knock and super glue to strengthen it by holding the grains together. <coughs> oh, that burns. Pretty epic. Now time to go see which one is good. Let's do this. So I could go take a nap, I'm tired. Hey, Chris. What'd you make? Crossbow. <laughs> All right, first up is the target style arrow. Shut up, dude. Here we go, genuinely the first time shooting these arrows. Yikes. Well, I figured out the one thing it's good at, getting super lost. I'm gonna have to find that one later, we're burning daylight. I'm not gonna have good sun like this for like another few months. I guess the total miss is kind of a rating in itself. The rating is not accurate enough to hit the target. Next up is the wider bladed one. What the frick, dude? Gosh, I hate this, man. All the grass is laying down from the snow, so the arrows just bury themselves under the grass and you can't find them. Right. Well, there's one. I'll give this one one more shot. Even though you could tell definitely from the flight pattern, it's uh, still definitely not weighty enough in the front. Oh my gosh, dude, everything. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Okay, that one's a dud. I'm not shooting that one anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh, can't find it. Too bad. Too bad. <laughs> oh. <sighs> All right, now the slightly longer bladed one. I'm sure this will be way different. Oh yes, this is this is gonna be it. Very high hopes. This is gonna be epic. Cool. Yeah. All right, now the uh, bladed thing. I don't even know if this crossbow is gonna survive these few shots. Maybe I'm blaming the arrows when I should be blaming the crossbow. Maybe the crossbow is a piece of garbage. It looks nice, but this is uh, this has kind of been trashed so far. Not a good experience. <sighs> okay. That one actually flew pretty straight. I mean, it wasn't wobbly in the air is what I mean, so. Maybe if I just aim to the right a little bit. Who knows, man? Maybe if I just aim to the right a little bit. Okay. I mean, it's a hit. A wobbly hit. Now we finna go for the needle-looking one. If you guys are getting bummed out by this episode, just imagine how I feel. I'm gonna aim off to the right a little bit again. <laughs> okay. Well, it's stuck in, it's stuck in, and it broke. Got another one. Okay, it's probably the best one so far. All right. <laughs> I 
With my luck, I was kind of expecting the camera not to actually be recording. I don't even know if you can see anything because the... <laughs> it's just what a disaster, man. The light has just been going up and down and up and down. I'll turn the ISO down super low and then the sun goes away and you can't see anything again. Just a big mess. All right, so what is that? I don't know. So about that much, I don't know. About that much, that's a pretty good unit of measurement, I think. That much, it went in that much. Pretty cool. I wonder if I can throw it in harder than that. Almost as much as that. Hold on, I'm getting in a new spot. <laughs> yeah, this is a very impressive crossbow for sure. I think we got a bum crossbow. I don't, I think I gotta stop blaming the arrows. I haven't wanted to accept it because it's, Taking me a little while to build that thing, but looks like it's a bum crossbow. All right, here's uh, this. Pretty cool, pretty epic. It went in the thing. Woo! This is a two by four with a PVC pipe tied to it. And some fiberglass driveway markers stuffed into it.